Hello and welcome to my next video. So today I have for you a gigantic eye herb haul. It's a lot of hair care, basically all hair care I think. So let's get started. For me, I found that Star West Botanicals and Frontier are very trustworthy brands and I'm not sponsored, I'm just giving you a heads up if you would like to try any of their herbs. They're very good companies in my opinion. This is by Star West Botanicals, one of my favorite brands for hair care herbs. And this is the Marshmallow Root. Marshmallow Root has a high mucilage content and mucilage is a very conditioning substance, very gel-like. I plan on using this in deep conditioning treatments. The next item I have here is some Irish Moss. This is an herb I also am using for the same reason as the marshmallow root. It has a very high mucilage content, which is very conditioning for the hair. Next I have here cut and sifted horsetail herb. Now horsetail is very good for strengthening the hair and it's very, very good for damaged hair or just people like me who want to grow out their hair and have it be as healthy as possible. Next I have here cut and sifted stinging nettle leaf. I plan on using nettle in hair care rinses because nettle is supposed to be great for shine and it helps with just keeping your hair very healthy and I've heard so many amazing things about nettle leaf online in hair care. My next ingredient is organic burdock root. This is very similar to nettle in the fact that it's very conditioning and strengthening for the hair. I'm obsessed with having very healthy hair because the healthier your hair is, the less split ends you get, the less breakage, and the longer that your hair can get. Most of these ingredients I plan on using in hair rinses. So my second to last ingredient is slippery elm bark. Slippery elm bark is also very high in mucilage content. And this is aloe vera gel. Aloe vera gel is incredible, especially on my scalp. It's great for dandruff, any flaking, which is dandruff, I suppose. It's supposed to help with shine, which I found for me it does help with shine, but I mostly my shirt. <laughs> but I mostly like to use this on my scalp. And you can use it in skincare too, but I like to focus it on my hair. You can look up the benefits of all of these ingredients online if you would like to. I'd recommend it if you don't know much about these ingredients. I feel like if I talk very specifically about each ingredient with all the details you would like to know. This video would be like 20 minutes long. Let me know if you would like to see me use some of these ingredients in future DIYs since this is all for DIY hair care. So I might as well make a video if you guys would like it. I hope you guys could enjoy this video. Please don't forget to let me know if you would like to see me talking about the benefits of these ingredients in a separate video or if you'd like to see how I make the DIYs on my channel, please let me know by giving a big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. I hope I see you again next Sunday in my next video.